What's up, bros? Thunderbird here, bringing you guys another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 Online for the Xbox 360. Today, I just wanted to start by saying thank you to everybody who has viewed any of the videos on my channel, and especially the Grand Theft Auto 5 Online series. All my fans out there, you guys have been great. Everybody's been leaving a lot of great feedback, helping me out, supporting my channel, and I appreciate it all, guys. Thank you very much. This is by far the most popular series on my channel. And I do enjoy this game quite a bit, especially Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. It's a lot of fun. Now, we haven't actually ranked up very much on this profile, but I do want to show you guys something that I never really got into uh, during the start of the game, which was the vehicle customization options. So this is a vehicle that I've been using for a while. This is my Saber Turbo, which is a muscle car. It's pretty awesome. And uh, all you have to do to get a vehicle is basically just go steal any car and be careful because the cops will chase you if they see you in a stolen car and bring it to a Los Santos custom shop. Uh, once you drive in here, the menu is going to look pretty similar to how it does on Grand Theft Auto, uh, Grand Theft Auto on the solo player. But it, it does have a few extra options and things are pretty much locked up until you rank up. Uh, so the first thing here that you're going to want to do is get to the uh, loss slash theft protection area and get yourself a tracker. This is going to show your vehicle on the radar when you're not on the car on your map. So that's really handy. And then after that, for about 2,000 credits, I think it is, get yourself some full coverage. Like it says, it's going to um, entitle you to get a replacement vehicle if your vehicle gets destroyed. And it's not necessarily a matter if, it's when in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. Let me tell you, right before I filmed this episode, I was literally taken out with the dude with the rocket launcher, like as I was driving to this place. So it happens a lot. You're going to die. Um, a lot of this stuff is pretty locked up. You know, like most of it is ranked based. Just like any other uh, online game, they're going to make you grind out, you know, levels so that you can get the cooler stuff. But there is a lot of options. They pretty much migrated everything over, uh, plus a little bit extra uh, from the solo Grand Theft Auto V to the online mode here, which is pretty awesome. I got to give them credit for that. I don't know if the iFruit app, which is available for uh, smartphones and tablets, is going to be available on the online feature. I've only used it on the solo player features, so I don't think it is, you know, online compatible. If they did in the future, though, that'd be sweet. But just basic, you know, vehicle customization options. You can change the color of things here, uh, upgrade the, the armor and your engine, transmission, all that, all that cool stuff. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that, how that works. The biggest thing is buying yourself coverage so that when your vehicle gets destroyed, you don't have to go through the process. And especially, man, if, if you upgraded a vehicle like a ton and then ended up getting your vehicle destroyed as, as you were playing the game, that would be a huge loss. So what we're going to do is just uh, continuing, you know, ranking up. Uh, the only way to do that is just by doing jobs. And we're just going to do a random quick job here. Um, I'm not very good at this game yet. I do fail pretty epically in a lot of this stuff. Now, the weapons in this game, Grand Theft Auto Online, is also similar to the uh, vehicle customization options in that a lot of them are going to be locked right off the bat. So I think I have a shotgun, maybe uh, a baton or a baseball bat or something, and then my handgun, and that's about it right now. So we're going to be doing Team Deathmatch. Uh, this is something that, again, I, I don't do very well at, but we're going to try. We're going to try and get as much points as we can we want to rank up we want to be able to buy a house here soon which i'll show you guys how to do that in a future episode and uh, we're going to want to be able to get new weapons and vehicle options so while it's launching the session here um basically how this works is just like any other team deathmatch you're going to be placed in a neighborhood or an area and you're going to basically be teamed up with four people as you can see here and it's a fight to the death. There are weapon pickups and cool things like that. So it kind of reminds me of like, you know, the early PlayStation 1 uh, third person shooters and, and, and all those fun games. It's really awesome. Surprisingly, Grand Theft Auto V Online is starting to make a little bit of a comeback. Right after its launch, it started declining from what I personally saw uh, in popularity between the fans. And ever since they've, they've started, you know, releasing... Um, little footage clips of new content and I think they did the stimulus package which is why I'm loaded with money why I have like three hundred and fifty thousand dollars it really brought a lot of people back including myself um, you guys might be wondering like hey what was the the wait between 
the first episode and this episode it was just simply that uh, not a lot of people were playing I do need a crew so if you guys know anybody who is in search of a crew uh, or, or in search of people for a crew let me know I'm looking for an active crew somebody who does missions and all these team death matches and different things so that we can uh, so that we can start doing a lot of cooler things in this so if you know anybody that's active in Grand Theft Auto 5 online that has a crew looking for people hit me up in the comment section below or send me a personal message on another note I did want to state guys a lot of you people have been asking you know can I play with you on Xbox live can I get your gamer tag that's something I'm gonna handle on an uh, instance by instance basis so basically if you just ask me for it you know I, I do do to just you know um, wanting good people on there I may you know talk to you a little bit get to know you uh, a little bit better but I will probably be inclined to accept and just all I need is you know, your gamer tag we'll become friends and live happily ever after god I'm just getting my ass kicked yeah kiss that fence yeah how's that fence taste to you bud all right so now let's get to the game here so it's really hard because like I said all I have is a pistol and a shotgun so we could try our luck with the shotgun but unless I have something that oh here we go. I was going to say, unless I pick up something that will help me out, it's not going to get much better for me. But here we go. Oh! I have no body armor. I'm just getting my ass handed to me. Uh, I think there was an option. Right before you start the matches, there's usually an option to actually pick up body armor. I'm pretty sure that uh, I had that option. I just didn't take it. So that's pretty sweet. We do get to keep the submachine gun here. Something else for you guys, my controller's been uh, messing up recently, just randomly disconnecting. If that does happen, I do apologize. Uh, it'll come back on just literally momentarily. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Yeah! Oh, did I get it? Yes! God, right afterwards, of course. Well, I got one kill. That's better than I've done uh, uh, recently. I, I haven't been getting, like, any kills. Not having body armor is really 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 a disadvantage it's crazy uh you will get taken out like two seconds it's nuts all right so there's there's somebody over there i'm gonna see if i can give him a nice warm welcome with my shotgun to the face oh shit oh shit yes thank you for saving me buddy all right so something that i, I need to do as well is maybe turn on the free aim because right now it's on the auto aim and when you have the auto aim it's pretty difficult i won't lie like it's nice to have an all, but if this uh, guy you're shooting ends up not being like your primary target, you have to like, I don't know. It, it's just hard to switch between targets if you don't have the free aim on. So I'm not using that right now. I'll try and switch that on the next episode and get used to it. For some reason, free aim for me on Grand Theft Auto 5 or Grand Theft Auto games in general, they're pretty, pretty hard. Oh, is that body armor? I want the body armor. Jump up. Get it, get it, get it. No! He riddled me. Riddle me this, Thunderbird. That was just too much for me to handle. Alright, let's see if anybody on our team's talking here. Hey, what's up? Anybody there? Hello? Hello, hello? Nobody's there. Nobody's there. See, something that surprises me is being a, a fan of online gaming, gaming in general. I can tell you that... A lot of people used to chat on Xbox Live, and I don't know what happened to it, if it was just like the trollers and the, the little whiny kids that kind of got to people, but not a lot of people talk on Xbox Live anymore, and not a lot of people talk on the uh, Xbox One either, which is really weird. I mean, it's a new console. you think people would be talking like crazy. Yes, he is dominating me. I know that, and he's devastating me. It's crazy. Look at that guy just dropping us like flies. My God, what a pro. That guy's gone pro. For real. Alright. Oh my god. Please don't kill me! No! No, 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 no. Okay. I forgot how to crouch. How, how do you take cover? Loser! Loser! Objective failed. Kill an enemy when you get close. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did I did fail that. So I, I, will, I will eat that. But we got reputation points. That's all that matters. We will be awesome eventually. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Yeah, you're just going to do that on the screen. Yeah, what do you think are cool? Like your hairstyle. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll give this guy a nice... How do you do it? How do you do it? We'll give this guy a nice like. Oh, I gave myself a like. 
See, I don't even know like what what I'm doing here really. I this is all kind of new. I do have a personal profile that I play on, but I haven't played on it very much. The majority of things that I do on Grand Theft Auto 5 online, I'm going to be doing with you guys. Just so you guys can experience it with me and when I get new uh, things happen to me, it can genuinely be a new experience. So one thing that sucks is not a lot of people stay in the queue for that that second uh, job where you can vote on the next job. A lot of people leave, as you saw. I think like three people left, like right in a row. So you got to leave, then requeue, and hope that you get somebody or a group of people that you can play with again. I'm not going to make you guys sit through another queue here. But I will be releasing an ep another episode of Grand Theft Auto Online very, very, very soon. So make sure that you go ahead and hit the big red subscribe button. I have it right in the middle of your screen. That way you bros can get all my latest videos. Also, make sure to like the video. It really helps out my channel. And thank you all so much for your support. Again, I'm Thunderbird. I'll see you later.